Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about compost piles or composting. Composting is the breaking down of any organic material. Okay, it's going to be springtime, everyone's at home. You're going to be doing some yard work, raking up some old leaves, maybe some grass clippings. The grass is going to be growing soon. You can rake that grass up. You can take table scraps, broccoli, salad, banana peels, apple peels, anything like that from the kitchen and start your own pile. Now my pile has all of that stuff, plus it's got a lot of bedding pack and manure in from the barn from it being cleaned out. The idea is you're going to get all that stuff and you're going to put it into a pile. And there are many ways to do that. Okay, so even if you don't have a farm, you don't have animals, you don't have manure, you can do this on a much simpler version. One of the things I'm going to do to check my compost pile, you don't need to do this, but I have this thermometer here. I'm going to take this thermometer, I'm going to stick it in the pile. And this, is, all it's going to tell me is how active it is, whether it's still decomposing and so forth. If I get closer here, I'm going to see the temperature rise. That needle's going to go up. And I'm looking for somewhere in the green, okay? Hopefully it's going to get up somewhere around 120 or so forth. That tells me everything is still decomposing. All right, it really shouldn't get above 160 as far as the temperature. 160, you're too hot. That means your ratio of nitrogen to carbon is a little bit out of whack. You probably need to add a little bit of carbon, maybe add some water, aerate it more, or whatever else, okay? So I'm gonna go down there and look at that temperature gauge again. All right, and you can see I'm right at 120, so things are going well. I'm going to aerate this, or I'm gonna flip this over with a front end loader on a tractor probably about once a week or so just to keep things moving keep it aerated on the inside that allows it to decompose more go ahead and we're going to uh, turn this compost pile over So I just got done turning this over. One thing is you notice it looks pretty damp. It should be. You want that thing stuff to be pretty wet, damp. You need to add water to it if you don't get a lot of rain on it. All right, it should be damp. Also, a good sign of a compost pile breaking down is if you dig into it and find some worms, you're in good shape. That means not only besides worms, you have a bunch of other microorganisms working to break down the material inside the compost pile. So we're going to go ahead and roll this pitchfork over a compost, see if we see any worms. Ooh, and there's there we have some. Hopefully you can see them. It's nice and warm. It's wet. Been raining here a lot the past couple days, maybe just a little bit too wet. All right, but there's a worm. That's what we're looking for. Oh, there's a couple more down in there. All right, that's what we want. They're going to help decompose this matter, make it aerobic, filled with oxygen, lots of microorganisms. All right, again, this is pretty warm. It's about 110 degrees. It's decomposing. Notice I put a bunch of wood chips from a wood chipper in here for carbon. You want lots of carbon, about 30% carbon, in order to help this everything decompose. 
You probably saw my cows in the background, so I'll come on over here and show you my cows. We'll come up here to the fence here, see if they want to be scratched at all. All right, Scottish Highland cows. Most of the time they're pretty friendly. We'll go ahead and pet them, give them an ear rub. Okay, you just need to be careful every once in a while. They'll swing their horns. They like to be scratched right underneath their neck there. Okay, most of these guys are pretty friendly. We have about a two-year-old heifer here. Up here we got a steer, small one, small little guy. All right, we have a couple other ones up there's maple. All right, just so you can see the cows that were in the background. They like to be in the pictures too. So again, this is composting. You don't need to be this big to start. If you start out with something small, some pallets, some wire, build it up. You want it as tall as you can go. You really don't want it spread out and wide, but you want some height to it in order to keep the heat in, keep moisture in it. All right, and then see what you can do with it. You'll get some nice garden soil. You'll get some worms. All right, it'll give you something to do instead of sitting in front of your computer all day, which is a great thing. Even though you're not supposed to go anywhere, you can be outside, around your house, picking up the lawn. A little bit of actual activity outside is a great thing in the springtime.